Hello, welcome to Property TV. My name's Stephen Galpin and this is Property Matters. Today, I'm going to take a look at the crazy world of property development. Those who've been close to the world of property development, you will know only too well the dreaded expression a 106 agreement. For those unfamiliar with this or unaware of its significance, it's a tax which is imposed by councils on new developments supposedly securing a quid pro quo for being given planning permission. This imposition is meant to benefit the community around the new development, perhaps by the provision of a school, tree planting along the road, new traffic and roadway projects, and in some cases publicly displayed artistic gifts for the community. Well, that's the theory, but there's only so much a council can use and in highly developing areas there's an oversupply of community gifts that can be accepted as useful. This is when we start to see extortionately priced statues, useless water features that rarely last as a working object for more than a year and so many bike racks that it would take an army of cyclists to fill. This then saw developers having exhausted their repertoire of bribes for the council, starting to offer money instead of gifts. This worked well until someone twigged that as the money would be payable by the developer after a, say, a year or two of a construction period, then the forthcoming monetary promise could be sold at a discount now to a different council. This would be sold by a council who was perhaps in need of instant money. So that's all over. Now we have the community infrastructure levy, which is an out and out simple crash grab by the councils. Now, one can say quite easily, these rich property developers can afford it with their billion pound developments. But you know what? It's whether you, the buyer, can afford it. Do you think the developer pays the cost of this levy? Not on your life. He simply takes the amount of the levy he has to pay, divides it by the number of flats in the block, and apportions the appropriate amount to the sale price of each unit. Is it any wonder why property is so expensive? Well, there we are. Thanks for watching. I'm Stephen Galpin, and that was Property Matters.